Your Excellency, Prime Minister Ahmed Nazif, Excellencies, friends, Minister Osman, my dear friend, and Dr. Heba Hendusa, um, it's a great pleasure to be with you, even if it's by video, on an occasion like this, launching this Human Development Report for Egypt. I think the first report in this series was prepared in 1994, so the cooperation between Egypt and the United Nations Development Program in working on human development in Egypt and preparing these reports is an old one and a very successful one. The Institute of Planning, of course, as well as the Ministry and other parts of the government have always been very supportive in this effort and I think have allowed Egyptian professionals, Egyptian experts, academics, practitioners, policy makers to deepen uh, the understanding we all have of Egypt's development challenges and of the human challenges that are associated with development. Many, many years ago, in fact, my, my first visit to Egypt was also a visit to the Institute of Planning. So I have a particular fondness for, for, for the work that the Institute has been doing for so many years. Human development has many dimensions. The Human Development Index measures only some of them, but the whole approach puts the human being at the center of development. And uh, the Egyptian Human Development Reports uh, look at the various dimensions of human development in Egypt. They have done groundbreaking work, even from an international perspective, in looking at disaggregated data by governorates, by different parts in the country, not just the entire country as one, but looking very precisely into different parts of the country. They have also done a lot of work on gender disaggregation and, and, and focusing on the gender aspects of human development. So I would like to congratulate all who have been involved, particularly Dr. Osman, Mohammed Osman, of course, and also Dr. Heba Hendusa, who have led so much of this effort, including this year's effort. This year deals with civil society, the various ways that civil society contributes to development, contributes to the development debate, deepens that debate, deepens our understanding of the issues, and all over the world, civil society has strengthened, has become a stronger actor. Uh, the participation of civil society in policy making in these debates is crucial for democratic development, for democratic uh, uh, debate to take place, for participation, for all parts of society to bring their needs, their voice to bear on the debate. So I particularly congratulate this year's team for dealing with civil society. Uh, there is a strong civil society in Egypt. It has developed uh, over the last uh, few years quite a bit. And of course, civil society also has to have its responsibilities. Uh, within civil society, there are def different movements, there are different sensitivities. All, of course, should participate and are participating. But civil society also, in terms of the transparency of its processes, its organization, has, has also an ac accountability towards society in the way it participates in the, in the policy debate. I hope that this will be another milestone, particularly after the very important work dealing with decentralization uh, under the Human Development Report uh, approach, that this will be another milestone in the policy debate in Egypt, that the acceleration of economic development and economic growth that we've seen in Egypt over the last years will continue, but that it will continue with greater inclusiveness, with greater focus on income distribution, with uh, greater success in fighting low-end poverty. There is development, there is growth, but as we all know, there remain major problems of poverty, of, of really including uh, decent work, uh, decent jobs for all in, in, in Egypt's growth path. And I think civil society can contribute tremendously to these efforts. So thank you, uh, my dear Egyptian friends, Excellencies, um, for this partnership with the United Nations Development Program. I wish you a lot of success on, the, on behalf of all of us from the United Nations, and I hope uh, to be able to see you in Egypt soon.